squad i am back with another video and this video is going to be well honestly i'm gonna do two story times so y'all be prepared to get two story times i said two <laughs> this this first story time is going to be on the time that i got bullied at a basketball game we're gonna start off like this i went to a public school you know wasn't i ain't never go to no private school i always went to to public schools all throughout my life like middle school was like the hardest time for me the toughest the hardest toughest just everything middle school was horrible for me honestly was it middle school yes it was middle school because <laughs> i'm just really sitting up here like was this middle school but yeah it was middle school when it happened a lot of people that i went to my primary school with went to my middle school so it's like i knew everybody at my middle school like nobody was you know just a random person i knew people when i was younger i always wanted to be like all the other girls if y'all hear that noise please ignore it but i'm gonna try to talk over it but i was the type of person that always was trying to be like the other girls i always was trying to fit in i always was just trying to do everything everybody else was doing like girls used to come to school with their nails done with some eyeshadow on and and all that but i wasn't doing it so it was like you know, I, I was asking my mama, could I get my nails done? I ain't never put makeup on my face. I ain't leave out the house with makeup on my face, though. My mama didn't allow that. As far as nails, all, sh all I got was press-on nails. Press-on, baby. This had to be, like, when I first got to middle school. So it probably was, like, secret. Like I said, I was always the type of person that, to, to try to fit in. And it was just, like, these couple of girls that... They was like popular, I guess. They just they just seemed really cool, and they just did everything that the other kids didn't do. You know, they was just the cool kids, I guess you could say. I tried to be friends with them. I tried to hang out with them and everything. And I actually used to hang out with them. I used to not all the time though, because I had my own little two friends, and that was it. I had a little white friend and a black one. That's who I mostly hung around at school was them two. Some days I would hang around the other people. I don't know what happened. Like me and these people, like me and the other girls, we wasn't really friends. But it's like I just, I just would like to hang around them. Now that I think about it, I wouldn't call them my friends. Like they wasn't friends. I ended up stop messing with them. Like I stopped being around them and everything because I started to realize they wasn't really my friends. They wasn't, you know, like they wasn't nobody I should be hanging around with. Cause they act too grown. I stopped hanging around them. There was this boy. It's the only reason why this story time is going on right now. It was over a boy. They used to like me. And he was popular. Everybody, like he was the type of boy. He was popular. Everybody used to like him. He was, he was fine. Like he really looked like grown. I was in middle school. This boy looked grown for his age. I don't know if it was just at the time and they was older than me in the, in the higher grade. And that's another thing. Person was older than me. But he used to like me. It was obvious that he used to like me because he would always be in my face, always talking to me, always just, you know, always just hanging around me and stuff. We was not going out, we was just, it, it seemed like it because we was always, I think we were at one point, but we wasn't anymore. I, my, my memory kind of shaky, but I think we were at one point, but we wasn't anymore. But after that, we were still cool. Girls that I used to hang out with, well, one of them, and it was another girl that actually hung out with her as well. One day, I was at a basketball game, and I was sitting down talking to the boy. I guess the girl used to like him. He was, like, always around me, so it was like, like, what you doing? And they got jealous at the fact that I was at the game, and the boy was sitting. Keep in mind, I did not go sit by this boy. He came sit by me. But... I was at the game and a boy came over, sat down to talk to me, whatever. Okay, me and him was talking, whatever. He sat down next to me for a good little minute. <laughs> All of a sudden, I'm just watching the game, you know. I feel something hit me. I don't, I forgot what they was throwing at me. But they was throwing, they was like really legit throwing stuff at me. Both of them were. And it was like so sad because these was like two girls that I, like, want, well, not two, but one of them I thought she was my friend. So it was like, like really? Like why, why? Just because this boy is sitting next to me. But when they started throwing stuff, that's when he got up and he, I think he, it's either he went talk to somebody or 
talk to somebody else and went by them or he just left i don't remember i was at that game by myself y'all because i don't remember nobody being with me if somebody was with me it would have went way different just throwing it at me just to embarrass me or something like that i don't know like I don't know what was their point of doing that, but they was just sitting up there constantly throwing paper at me. I was like really finna cry. I didn't know what to do because I was by myself. And then somebody, like people were seeing this happen and nobody was saying it. But this one girl, I later found out that the girl was one of my friend's cousin. So it was really a coincidence. Basically, she took up for me. And she was like, she, um, she saw them throwing paper and stuff at me and she was like, hey, Come sit up here with me. I sat up. I sat up there in the bleachers with the girl. They ain't throwing no paper no more. The girl, the girl that told me to come sit up with her, up there with her. She was like, she was, she was just basically telling me. She was like, they was wrong for that. They shouldn't have been doing it. And that's why I told you come sit up here with me because I know they're not gonna throw no paper up here. I was, I was high up in the bleachers. They kept turning around a few times and looking at me like. What do y'all want? Like, really? I was so grateful for this girl. The girl was older than me as well. She was way older than me. Like, I don't even think she was in... I think she was in high school. Keep in mind, I said this was middle school. But the girl was in high school, I believe. I still remember the girl name. And I still appreciate that girl for this day, to this day. Because she did not have to do that. Because she didn't know me, you know? I later on found out she was one of my friend's cousin. And I was like, oh, I know her. You know? Um... But it was just really a coincidence that that was my friend cousin though. I appreciated that so much because without her, I don't know what would have happened that night. That night, I really don't know. Like they could have jumped me, honestly. They was throwing a paper at me, like where everybody could see you. I mean, what else could they could have done? You know, they could have did more than that. But the girl stayed with me the whole time. She really was just, you know, by me. And she just wasn't leaving me. Cause she she saw what was going on and she and she knew it wasn't right so she just was like you know what come sit with me you you don't have to you don't have to take that but it was so sweet and it was just so it just was it was so sweet I just want to cry because it's like that was really me getting bullied um and I really did I that's why I say. Middle school was the worst time for me. I got bullied all throughout middle school. And I got bullied, well, towards the end of me leaving middle school, it got better. Like my first two years at in middle school was horrible. And then in primary school, I got bullied also. But my thing is, just my message for this story time, if y'all see somebody that need help, don't just look at them and you and you know somebody that's do, doing something that's not supposed to be done or doing something wrong to somebody else. I'm, I mean, sure you putting your own life in jeopardy when you do stuff like that, but it's, it's better to like react to something like that than to just let it happen. If something do happen to them, in the back of your, your mind, you, you will be, it, it will be replaying in your mind like, dang. I could have did this to help this person. I could have, like, yeah. So, if you see somebody that need help, help them. I was just so small. I was a little, I was a little shy little thing. Like, I didn't do nothing to nobody. At all. I stayed out the way. The most I did was try to fit in with other girls. That's all I ever did. But other than that, I didn't do anything to nobody. So... I didn't deserve that but yeah y'all I'm gonna cut this this story time right here but basically this was all over boy if y'all like this story time give me a thumbs up comment below subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you know when I post my next video and I'm sorry I sound like I'm about to cry because I got a frog in my throat but yeah y'all I'll see y'all in my next video